Hello once again. In the previous session, we have learned how to read the data from the PDF by using read PDF test activity. In this session, we are going to learn how to read PDF with OCR activity. First of all, we'll see what are the differences between these two things. Let us assume I'm having a sample PDF, but the PDF may have images, images with text in the images, and also we'll have a sample uh, PDF also that is generated PDF as well as the scanned PDF, right? The generated PDF can copy the text file and then you can paste somewhere else. But whereas in the PDF, you, you can't copy the text which you have in the images, right? In the scanned PDF, you can't do that. So for an example, if you see, these are all the image that what you have. If you want to copy this text, you can't copy this text. But whereas in the sample, you can copy the text by using read PDF, and then you're going to uh, you know paste somewhere by using read PDF text activity, correct? Now, how can I go ahead and read the data which are having in the image format? That is by using read PDF with OCR. OCR stands for optical character recognition. It's nothing but if you're having any images, what it will do by using some some machines that you can use it and then you know it's go ahead and it can read the data which we are having in the images now i will show you how to read the data from the images which are there in the pdf let me go to the project what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new sequence by clicking on add sequence i'm going to give it the name as read pdf with ocr activity and then i'm going to click on create now let me go to the activities. Now we are going to work with read PDF with OCR. Where we can find that? Under app integration, under PDF, we'll find read PDF with OCR. Let me drag and drop onto the panel. First of all, we'll see the properties. We're having the default properties like file name and the password, and where you are going to store the output. And you can see the image DPI, it is a very, very important, like display pixels. It is nothing but how many pixels you want to display. It's a 150 or 300 or 96, which we are having these three property, three options right now. Now I'm going to select the default one, 150. And you can see the range. The range is nothing but how many pages that you want to read it. All the pages of the PDF that you want to read it, all the PDF related. And you can give them mention the pages over here. Okay. Now what I have to do, I have to go for the file browse file and then what we are having we are going to be scans i'm having a sample uh, ocr let me select that which i have already shown this is having an image this is all the images that what we have now to read that i need to take some ocr that is optical character recognition where i can find that I'm going to the activities and just typing OCR over here and you can find different different engines over here. What kind of engines do we have? They're the default engines that we have. One is Google Cloud with an OCR, Microsoft OCR, Tesseract to OCR. This is the previous we will call it as a Google OCR. Now, what I, I can take any OCR to read the data from the images which we are having in the PDF, right? Now let me select Microsoft OCR. Now, if you see, I'm having, uh, I have selected this OCR and then once it's read the data, I'm going to store that in the text format. Now, where I will show, now let me click on Control K. I will say output OCR. Okay. And then I'm going to click on enter. Now, if you see the variables, I'm having output OCR and in string format, and you can see read PDF with OCR. That is the scope. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to store somewhere, right? I'm going to take in, uh, I'm going to use write file text, and then I'm going to drag and drop onto the panel. And then what is the input that we have? The output from uh, read PDF OCR. Now let me select output OCR and then I'm going to store somewhere right in the outputs that I will store it. I'm going to give it the name over here. I will give it as OCR 
output. I'm just giving some names over here dot in the document format. Let me click on OK. OK, I will save it in text format, TXT format first. OK, now let me save the bot. And to complete that process, I want to know that one. So I'm going to use message box over here. Let me drag and drop message box onto the bot. I'm saying process completed. Now let me save the bot and let me run the bot. PDF automation execution has been started. Now if you see the process has been completed. Let me click on OK. Now let me go to the project. Let me refresh it. Let me go to the output. You can see output OCR, OCR output dot text file. Let me open it. Now let me open the input also at the same time. And you can see on my left hand side, I'm having an input. On the right hand side, this is the output. From the images, you're going to read it by using read PDF with OCR. Okay, and you can see all the data over here, the company name, it has been mentioned, the company limited, and the entire details, you can see date over here, and also you can see the data, what are the data, what are the text we are having in the PDF, all the data has been read and written in the text format by using read PDF with OCR. So this is how we are going to read the data from the images. Okay. Over here, I have used only Microsoft related OCR. If you want some other OCRs also, you can try it. Like a different uh, OCRs like Tesseract, you can use it. So I'm going to give it as the assignment to you. If you, want, if you want to use it Tesseract OCR, you can go ahead and you can use it and get the output and then read the data by using read PDF with OCR and then write the data into the text file by using write text file activity. And there are some more things also like screen scrapping. Now, I don't want to disturb these activities, entire activities. I will let you know about the screen scrapping in some other section. I hope you understand how to use read PDF with o OCR. Thank you for watching your past tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.